hi beautiful people it's cindy welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here in today's video we're going to go ahead and decorate our dining room and kitchen and get it all ready for christmas but i wanted to get into the christmas spirit so i did go ahead and play some beautiful christmas music on my record player We're going to go ahead and clean my dining room table. I do need to use a scrubber because the crumbs and stuff tend to stay in between of the grooves on this table. And I'm still using up my false scent, guys. I use my products until I have nothing left and then I go buy something. When I sprayed the table, I think I went a little overboard. And when I was scrubbing it, this table was turning white. So I'm like, oh God. But after I worked it into the table and wiped it off with some towels, it was perfectly fine. But the table smelled really good after this. My process for decorating this table was using a runner and a garland and some beautiful trees in between the garland from some height and dimension i just decided to use this runner that i purchased from target i think it was part of their spring collection and i just love the natural texture of it so i really wanted to go with more of a natural material this year so i found this tree at my local goodwill for 9.99 I'm also going to be placing this beautiful garland that I purchased from Michaels and I did use this one on my railing. It's also a pre-lit one. It's a cedar garden and I just love how simple it is and just like the whimsical look of it. I didn't want anything really full or overcrowding on this dining room table because we do eat on here and I didn't want to have to move a bunch of items just to sit down and have lunch or dinner on this table. So the way I wanted to style my table this year, I did want to go ahead and add a bunch of trees varying in height and I just wanted to have some visual interest but not having it overcrowded and the good thing about these trees is that it's a pretty easy process to just move them out of the way but I did purchase a couple of them from the Target dollar spot and also thrifted a couple as well. Whenever I'm decorating, I always like to take a step back and just make sure I'm liking everything before I keep adding to it. Another purchase I made were these beautiful candles from Big Lots. It was a pack of four for $5.00. And I love how they look like trees, but guys, I was trying to put my candles in the candlesticks and they were just falling off. And then I remembered that I seen this girl on Instagram say that this is how she gets her candlesticks to stay. She goes ahead and lights up the bottom part to just melt the wax and then she sets it into the candle holder. She holds it in place for about 5 seconds and it actually did the trick guys, it actually worked. Since this year, I decided to go a little bit more simple on our home. I did have a bunch of bins just 
filled with Christmas decor and came across this wreath that I had sitting in my bin and I'm like you know what I can use it because it goes with my theme of eucalyptus this year and I just decided to go ahead and just hang it on my curtain rod and it just gave it like a cute Christmas look without being overbearing. Moving on to my kitchen island, I just wanted to give it a good wipe down before I did any of the decorations. Like I stated earlier, I did want to keep my home simple this year. So all I was going to do to the island is add a vase that I thrifted and also add some cedar and eucalyptus stems into the vase. Then I'm also going to set four coasters on the side of the vase. I always like to put these coasters here because it is a wood countertop and I'm just trying to keep it as long as possible in a good condition and I'm going to add a cute little deer that I purchased from Big Lots this year. To finalize the island, I'm going to place these mini wreaths to the back of my countertop stool. We have moved on to my kitchen now and this item right here, I was actually getting ready to donate it because it's starting to look a little worn. But you know what? I was like, let me just use it one last year. So instead of using it as a tray with like filler inside of it, I decided to stand it up and it's actually really cute and I'm in love with it now and I'm happy I held on to it. But now I'm going in with this tree that I purchased from the Hearth and Hand line and I'm placing it into this cute little pot that I got from Hobby Lobby when they had their 90% off sale for spring. And then I'm going in with this cute little frame that has some ornaments that I purchased from the Hearth and Hand line as well. This is the show-stopping piece of the video. I couldn't believe I found this at the thrift store and it was only $4.99. I think somebody had placed it on the wrong shelf because it was sitting in an area that it wasn't supposed to be sitting. But then I decided to take it home and when I got home... I looked it up on like the Google thing where you can take a picture. Guys, people are reselling this vegetable ball, ball, oh my god, bowl for $70 and I only got it for $5. I'm so ecstatic.
these items always stay on my countertop um the only thing i add is a different candle under the candle warmer and i always add a salt and pepper shaker for the season i ended up thrifting these two beautiful salt and pepper shakers for about four dollars Moving on to this corner of my countertop, I'm going to place this crock here and also place this beautiful tree that has like the cedar branches that match to the one in my sitting room. And then I decided to jazz up my shelf in front of my sink. So I'm adding these beautiful pictures that are both from Target and I'm also going to add a reindeer. Here's another item I was getting ready to donate as well. Last year I used it with a candle inside of it, but I decided to put my soap in it and it fit perfectly. So I'm actually happy I held on to it. I wish I would have spray painted gold just to go better with my theme, but maybe next year I'll get to that. Ended up purchasing these beautiful two ceramic houses from Target and they had them on sale. Um, they're $5 a piece, but they actually had a 30% off sale. So I got them for $3.50. And then these two small trees I thrifted at my local thrift store. Now I'm going to move on to my little coffee station. I'm just placing these spoons into this cup that I thrifted. And guys, these spoons I also thrifted as well. They were brand new in its packaging. And Goodwill was asking $8 for them and I put them back. And my mom's like, why don't you just check how much they're selling for online? And when I checked Amazon, um, they were selling them for $20. So I was like, you know what, Goodwill, I'll give you my $8. Cozy up my little coffee station, I'm going to add this beautiful mug and we are officially done decorating everything. I'm just going to give you guys an overview of how everything turned out. I also included some clips of how everything looks at night and I'm absolutely in love how this year 
all my Christmas decorating turned out. Last year, I believe I overcrowded everything. Guys, I kid you not, by like the second week of December, I was ready to just get rid of everything because I'm one of those people that decorate November 1st. But this year, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it very simple. Less is more. And I'm so happy I decided to go that route. I wanted to ask, are you guys done decorating for Christmas or do you guys have specific rooms that still need to get done i would love to hear from you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys next sunday